Hello guys, so this is the last part of our convolution IP core in Vivalu HLS, which is also the end of the Vivalu HLS course, okay? So this is the part that we're going to bring our IP core to the board, okay, to the micro Z board or Z board, whatever it can be an Arctic 7 board as well. Uh, we are not obliged to use zinc. And we're going to exercise, we're going to send our, uh, uh, an image, okay, through this IP core, through a DMA, and get back the results, okay? Uh, again, this is the end of the Vivalu HLS course, but does not mean that if you guys have some doubt or any idea of a project to do with, Viva, with Vivalu HLS, I mean, some code in C that you guys want to, to know how it will work in the FPGA, does not mean that you cannot just send me a message and ask for it, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you really like, give me a thumbs up, and I uh, hope you, to see you guys in the next course. So guys, uh, it will be quite simple, okay? You guys are already pro at this. We're going to use a zinc processor, okay? The zinc processor will be connected to a DMA through the high performance port, okay? The DMA will have the job to push data from memory, actually our, our image, into the input stream of our IP convolver and gather back the results from the, after the convolution. Okay, we're going to have as well uh, an Axelite interface that uh, will be uh, controlled through this interconnect here where we're probably going to use a timer just to measure uh, how long it takes and actually here we're going to configure the operation okay, that could be convolution, erode or dilate and the kernel okay? uh, Just to finalize, to get the results back we're going to use the XMD Okay, which is a debugger that you can gather uh, resources from memory from, uh, on the Xanax SDK. And uh, we have some scripts that actually parse the result of XMD and show uh, as an image in MATLAB. Okay? So guys, after the synthesis is done and we did the... We actually test our test bench with the generated HDL code. It's time to export this IP core and use Invivado. Okay? So, we're going to click here to export the RTL and we want to go to send to the IP catalog. Okay? Uh, now, let's switch to Vivado and uh, let's create a project with Zinc and this IP core. Okay? So, now in Vivado, with a, with a project created for our Z board, let's just import our IP. Okay? We just need to put here. the location where the IP was, okay, where it was exported. Now we add zinc. Run block automation. Now let's just enable the high performance port for our uh, high speed DMA. Okay. Cool. Now we add our IP. This is where we configure kernel and uh, start and stop commands to control our, our IP. Okay. Now we add a DMA. Okay. We configure, okay? We don't want to scatter together now. We want all bits possible for a buffer length. We we're going to allow an aligned axis, okay? And uh our, our image is grayscale, so let's ch change here our string to to 8, okay? We then run design, uh, connection automation again. 
Ok? So now let's do a zoom. And what matter for us now is the in stream. Ok? And our out stream. Ok? Maybe we just add a timer. So this is our design. As I explained, we have the zinc, okay, which control a DMA and our image processing IP core. Here we have the the, the control part that is controlled for axis light and our kernel as well. Okay, so last thing we validate to check if there are any er any errors. Okay, they are none. So we save it. Then we generate an HTL wrapper. Okay, and we are ready to generate our bit stream. Then this will do the implementation and the synthesis and everything needed. Okay. This can take a little while, maybe 15 minutes or something like this. Okay, now the bitstream file is created, okay? Uh, we can open the, the implement design just to verify if you have some timing violation, okay? Which is important as well. I'll do a whole tutorial about uh, timing closure in FPGAs in the future. Okay, so uh, let's go to project summary. So. There is no negative slack in the setup and no negative slack on the hold, which is quite, quite good. Okay? Uh, so, let's now just export our hardware. Then we can go to Zynx SDK and start a project. Okay? And let's now just launch the SDK. Okay, guys. So, the software part is quite simple. It's more or less uh, what we did in the previous examples, okay? So, we have a header here, which is actually our image, okay? I just generate a script in MATLAB to create this, okay? We have our Axie Timer Helper, okay? Which is the class that we created uh, in previous videos to measure time, okay? So, uh, here is just our DMA address, okay? Our transmission and reception buffer, we have here uh, a pointer, uh, not a pointer, yes, actually, an array which are we are going to copy our image in. We can just pass the address of our of our image, but we just choose to do it like this. We init our we initialize our DMA. Okay. Then uh, we just initialize our IP core. Uh, by the way. This is uh, those functions are generated through Vivado HLS, so uh, you don't. It's more or less always the same. The only thing that you change is the name of the uh, of the IP. Here is just our uh, our kernel that we declare. Okay, in our case, we're going to use uh, first the impulse. Let me just comment this out. And the code is quite simple. We need the DMA, we need our IP core, we just copy the image to our uh, buffer. Okay, here is quite important. Basically, we, we give all the bytes of our kernel. Okay, by the way, this is also generated uh, from Vivado HLS. We set the operation. Here, we want the convolution. Okay, and we send start. Okay, after we send start, we initialize our timer, and uh, this part here is the part that we actually uh, instruct our DMA 
to gather the data from memory, send to our IP core, and receive this result back. Okay? Basically, it's here is simple transfer DMA to device, device to DMA. Okay? And uh, we're going to wait until this is done. You can use as well an interrupt or something like this. And then we just measure the, the ellipse time. Okay? So uh, let's execute this. We come here. Uh, by the way, let me just go up a little bit. We're going to use these commands here through XMD to actually uh, receive our result back. Okay? So let's debug. Okay, so in our debug window, we just uh, mark here a, a breakpoint, which is already there. Just click twice and it will be there. We're just going to copy those lines here because we're going to paste here in the XMD console. So we basically want to create this file here and we want to dump uh, from this address, okay, this amount of bytes here, okay. By the way, this address is just the, uh, our reception buffer from the DMA. Okay, so it's there. Then we just ask close file. Okay, uh, I created a script in MATLAB which actually do the job of loading that image. So we just come here. By the way, it f uh, it uh, transposed our image. It rotated. Basically, probably we we did a mistake, or parsing the image, or creating the um, setting the width and height from our image in our algorithm. But it's okay. It does what uh, what you want. By the way, see here. We are not uh, the offset is fixed okay so let's go back again to Xilinx SDK and let's change something let's come here for instance now um, we want to we don't want the impulse kernel anymore and uh, we want actually this kernel here because we want to do now a uh, erode okay so let's save it. Let's run again. Yes. Okay, let's run. So now let's do again. So we open the file, we dump from memory to the file, and we close it. Let's go to MATLAB. Let's parse this guy again. Cool. You see? Now let's change to dilate and see the effect. Now the operation too. Okay. Cool, huh? So this is dilate. So it seems that the uh, the IP do it did its job. It's just because we passed the image in the wrong uh, in the wrong coordinate. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So image processing in FPGAs using Vivado HLS. So uh, again, just taking uh, a look again in the code. By the way, the source code will be available to you guys uh, we just prepare our operation choose our kernel as to start and we ask the DMA to to push and pop the image in and out from uh, from our, our IP core 
and here we just calculate the amount of time that it executes okay um, so let me run so uh, one two three seven se seven hundred microseconds if I'm not wrong one two no yes uh, so as this is in the hardware we can just come here if you want more speed we can just go back here to our uh, block design okay so let's do a zoom here where is our zinc? yes he's here so now probably we are running all this at uh, 100 megahertz let's let's put a little bit faster clock configuration PL fabric clock yeah let's put to 150 160 maybe it go to the frequency that I want cool so we said okay we save the design and generate the bitstream again okay now that the bit stream is completed okay we have here a timing violation okay let me just check where it is um, is actually from the image processing to our image processing so this is basically saying that the, the speed that we choose is getting high okay so that's why we get a setup violation um, later I'll, I'll, I'll give a training just about timing and how to solve those issues okay but basically uh, you need to start to get word okay if you have a hold violation okay a hold violation you're going to have some data integrity problems I set up maybe to even work so let's go back to our hardware manager again let's op oh sorry open here and we're going to program it again let's program our device cool now let's run Zang SDK again uh, and run this guy again run S. well before was 007 Yeah, we didn't gain too much. Actually, we gained nothing. Hmm. Funny. Oh, let me check where I start the timer. Yeah, we didn't get so much. So basically, we're losing time. Probably something else. So, um, well, guys, let's close the training for today. Uh, well, uh, next topics that you're probably going to, to deal with is uh, uh, SPI. Probably going to create an SPI slave as well uh, through VHD, VHDL or Verilog alone. I will choose it later. And uh, F uh, MATLAB to FPGA. This is uh, a nice topic that we I want to cover as well. And timing. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have some other question, just send me an email or just uh, a comment in YouTube. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like it. And uh, see you guys in the next video.